Mayat Carolino on your screens. Penetrante. <laughs> oh, Rivas. Taking down the block of the field in that way. Look at this approach from Vivas. Full swing. Full swing. Great play coming from Vivas. Here he the Pulia block. Mayet Carolino. Good floater right there. Dug up by Penetrante. Juan just flips it, but Salah covers it, covering it very well. Another cross court hit. This time for the back. Remulia will get this back set from Ajero. And look at her demolish that single block. Wow, Ivy Remulia has uh, been uh, scoring a lot here in the second set. And a great serve coming from Remulia. A service ace right there. Tanungin ko na, an ano pa kinain itong, uh, itong ate mo kanina? <laughs> Parang ang ganda ng linalaro ngayon. Nakatulog ng maayos. Nakatulog <laughs> ng maayos. Well, I guess, babalik naman tayo, no? Parang yung uh, nahihirapang mag-receive na yun yes. sa FEU. Oh, nice set by Tina Salak. See how she's played until the last second. That's right. To bring it to the other side. Great play from uh, Tina Salak. Parang Ian Lauren na, no? During, uh, Parang. Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Mikasa is the official ball of the Shakey's V-League. Thank you, Mikasa Ajero. Being called for that uh, setting error. Two touches called on a Jero. Costly errors right now for Benil. Morada serving. Oh! Hits the antenna. That's an error right there for Morada, but that is one of the hardest things to do in volleyball. Mahirap, ma maiksi lang yung ano eh. Targeting the antenna. <laughs> Subukan mong tamaan yung antenna. I, 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 one out of ten, swear, tingnan ako matamaan mo yan. <laughs> But you know, ito si Murada, isa sa mga favorite kong panoorit maglaro. Because her form is so... Ganda eh. She's so nice to look at. Yes, who goes into the second technical timeout first. It's the College of St. Benil ahead here in the second set. 16 to 13. All right, uh, Shakey's really going on MPM4. That's on May 5, Tuesday. We start at 2 p.m. and it's going to be at Deneo going up against UST. And of course, for every match, we always choose the prettiest faces here in the arena. And for today, she's Pauline Limhoko, 24 years old from Antipolo City. And of course, she gets the best pizza in town, a free Shakey's pizza. And Pauline Limhoko is our Shakey's face of the game. Wow, am I looking at the, the score? Definitely you are, Anne, and CSB on top here in the second set. Yumang still with that service. Great serve there for Yumang. Dug up by Remulia. Juan flips it over. Morada for the defensive end. Great exchange we're seeing right now. Vivas off speed hit, dug up by Remulia. That's Velasquez just tipping it in. Vivas again, this time being bothered by Gator Velasquez, sends it long. And we now see that uh, the blocking of St. Benil is taking effect. Yes, no, exactly. He was Vivas on that last hit. Unfortunately, he had a the trajectory of the ball. Yumang with a good serve right here. And that is inside. Penetrante not able to read that Salak flip. Vivas getting ready to serve. A great serve from Vivas. Oh, poor reception. Dakis! That was on its way out and that's right. Still 100% up to now. Itong si Rachel and Dakis when it comes to that success rate in attacks and I guess this is a weaker uh, rotation for St. Benil they only have two attackers in the front line you know? so 
mas uh, madali rin for FEU to score more points. You know, let's give credit to Kwan. She's really developed into a consistent uh, outside hitter. And of course, if it's fun, family pizza, it's got to be Shakey's. A service ace coming for Kwan. It's a different deal we're seeing right here in the second set, Anne. That's right. And in terms of actually, I think what's more quality of thing to be out here in the second set is that and are a service ace. Correct. Poor reception from FEU and Coach Ness Pamilar needs to call this timeout. Let's listen in. All right, our games on Tuesday, the he double header on Tuesday here in the arena. It's going to be the Lyceum of the Philippines going up against St. Benil at 2 p.m. to be followed by the most exciting match that we're ever going to see right now. USD against FEU. Two leading teams in the standings going up against each other. That's going to be on Tuesday here. That's the second game in the arena on Tuesday. Ano yan? Pareho pang walang talo yung dalawang kupuna na yan. That is once again. Ajero getting a chance to uh, hit. Oh. Almost a good banking from Taganas. Wow. The shortest member of the lineup right now for Benil. She actually stopped it. Bago niya paluin yung bola. Tumingin siguro kung saan niya dadan. 21 to 15. A complete turnaround for the College of St. Benil. After that lethargic first set, ito naman, full of energy itong pinapakita ng Benil dito sa second set. And Penetrante, this one is long. We haven't seen much of uh, Penetrante at this point. Oh, Shaira Gonzalez hearing it from the FEU gallery. She's back in. Cabana going out. Let's see if uh, she can uh, give her squad that extra push that they need to catch up with Benil here in the second set. Salak setting up Gonzalez in the middle. Dug up by Muling Tapang. A Gerald again outside to Penetrante. Teganes is right there. Overpowering a zero 